You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Eh, I've seen worse. So now what? Should I go wait at the front desk with you until it's time to start? Front desk? What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... But it's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. Hey, who are you? First day training here. It's nice to meet you in person. Since I transitioned from MMA to wrestling, I've been watching a lot of your matches from Japan. And when I heard you were here, I was excited to get in the ring with you. Yeah, well, you better act fast since I don't plan on being here too long. Why is that? Because they should have never sent me here to begin with. I don't belong in the same place as someone just crossing over from MMA or some stupid former mascot. If you haven't met that goon yet, don't bother. You know who else crossed over from MMA? Sonya Deville, Shayna Baszler, Riddle. And I'm going to be bigger than all of them. Bigger tool? Maybe. Bigger star? No chance. For every success story, there's a thousand guys that never made it. Like I said, I don't plan on being here very long, but I look forward to making sure you end up in the category no one's heard of. Too late, because a lot more people have watched me knock people out than have ever seen you wrestle. Just because I'm new to this game doesn't mean I haven't played the game. Don't test me, or you won't like the results. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. I'm excited to get going. Especially since I heard you started last week. It started here, at least. I've been training in wrestling for years before this. It's part of growing up in Mexico. Are you from one of those famous wrestling families? No, where I'm from, you were either into wrestling or football. Sorry, soccer. I chose wrestling. I played soccer when I was a kid, but there wasn't enough punching. So eventually I got into MMA. There was a lot more punching. So why make the switch from MMA to wrestling? I love fighting, but I got burned out with the long training camps and only getting to fight a couple times a year. Plus, I wanted a new challenge. So I started training for this a few months back and WWE took notice. That's good, but don't expect this to be easy. You're going to have to work as hard, or harder, than you ever have before to make it to WWE. I realize that. And I respect everything that WWE superstars do. Inside and outside the ring. And I know I can do the same thing, if not better. That's a high bar to set. But good luck.
I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Thanks. You a big MMA fan? No, not really. I just love that viral video of the fight where you got knocked out in like two seconds. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway, I'm actually crossing over from another sport too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Really? Who'd you play for? Well, I, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But I was around a ton of good athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. Even if Lawler helped get your foot in the door, you wouldn't be here if you weren't talented. I'll see you out there in a bit. Sounds good, buddy. Oh, and before I forget, can you sign something for me before you leave today? Sure. Just as long as you don't sell it online. Ah, well, then you know what? I can get it some other time. I'm just messing with you. If you can make a few bucks, then good for you. And literally, it might only be a few bucks. See you out there, Chase. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard this speech already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX intro you did. Chase! What Road Dog was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. I'm ready for that now. Yeah, we know you think that, but it's not your call, big shot. Okay, now that all that's out of the way, we're gonna start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right, new guy, since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Okay, let's get started.
before you say anything, do you really think you just got everything I had? It's obvious I shouldn't be here. So I'm not gonna give 100% in a training match against a nobody. I shouldn't be here either, but that doesn't mean I'm going to go half speed while I am. That's cute that you think you're ready for WWE just because you got lucky against me when I wasn't trying. No, I knew I was ready before today and this just confirmed it. And I don't buy your half speed excuse. You know you wanted to beat me and it's killing you that you couldn't get the job done. Face me when it really counts and we'll see what happens. We already did. <laughs>